What? Say, say again. Ah, that's what it is. That's the sound of a new season. If you go back a couple years, just think about it. This has been almost two years ago that a pandemic hit the globe and it began to cause and wreak havoc, not just on people individually, but it affected communities, just affected the church. And I, I'm i here to say that we are still here through all the pain and all the plight and all the, all the panic that came along with the experience. And yet God is saying to us, all nations community church that we need to be prepared for this next season and so isaiah tells us that we need to enlarge our tents and stretch our cords and do everything's necessary to prepare for this next chapter so we're going to do something that's unprecedented we're doing something to prepare the body of christ for this next season we're preparing for an end of the year celebration slash conference slash slash just let's get excited time together so I want you to join me December 4th, the first Sunday of December, to celebrate what God has done, but also celebrate what God is going to do. Matter of fact, we don't have to wait for the battle to be over to celebrate. We can rejoice right now. So whatever God has in store for us, we're going to rejoice because we know it's already done. Why? Because God said, and we're going to be prepared for whatever God wants to accomplish in our church. So this time at this end of the year conference is going to be me sharing my heart, sharing God's vision for this house so that we can be prepared. Yes. Be prepared for what God's gonna do. So I encourage you, bring yourself, bring your friend, bring your neighbor, bring your spouse, bring whomever you want to be a part of this exciting move of God. And I look forward to sharing what God has shared with me so that we can be prepared for what God has for us. So join me December 4th, right after the service, for not just a church conference, not for a congregational meeting, but for an end of the year celebration to rejoice in what God has done and what God is going to do. So the question is, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Are you ready? Are you ready for this next season that God has for us? Now ask yourself, what are you willing to do? How will you use your gift for what's coming next? Well, let's be prepared. See you real soon. Later.